<sighs> Hello everyone, your friendly neighborhood gaming machine here, and today, welcome to another episode of the Gaming Machine Rarities. Now, in this segment, if people don't know already, basically I take some of the stuff that I consider rare or most valuable to me, and I show it to you and explain to you sometimes why it's rare but I also explain to you what the game is. Now, for this episode though, I don't have all the original cases for these games because they were that hard to find. So, you're gonna have to live with uh, makeshift cases, but I actually have the games and the cases to show you. So the first one I'm going to show you today is Beast Wars for the PlayStation 1. Now, Beast Wars was a game that was a bit of ahead of its time, just because of that amazing soundtrack that it had and it's interesting enemies that were in the game as well but I want to show this off to you that is the game itself it's for the PlayStation uh, this came up for both PlayStation and for the PC I do plan on playing this one day for the for my channel and hopefully it gets some good feedback because I actually enjoy this game. I have beaten this game so many times in the past and the fact that I own this is a blessing to me. Now there is one game uh, I could not find that I wanted to put in this episode so I will actually put um, pictures of it in this episode. But basically the next thing I'm going to be talking about is um, Soul Edge or Soul Blade for the PlayStation. Now, Soul Edge and Soul Blade, it depends on if you want to go for the American release or the European release, because the European release of Soul was called Soul Blade, but the one we got was called Soul Edge. So, people believe that Soul Calibur was the first game. It was not. The first game was Soul Edge slash Soul Blade. And, uh... You can unlock certain characters depending on what stuff you did in it. But I have actually played this on my old channel and it's also in my old videos playlist on this channel as well. Where I actually was able to unlock Cervantes and I was able to do some arcade playing with him. So anyways, the next game I'm going to be talking about is Matrix The Path of Neo for the PlayStation 2. Now like I said makeshift cases these aren't the original cases they came in it's just when they come into those little paper sleeves I just want to protect the game so this is Matrix Path of Neo for the PlayStation 2 to me this game is considered rare simply because it is a very long game and um, it has aspects in it that weren't in the movies and I just thought it was absolutely incredible like just one spoiler for you for this game aside from the fact that you have a dream sequence that you play in the beginning of the game that considers what the difficulty setting is for your gameplay that you do at the end of the game it does something that the movie never did which gives you a legitimate hard as hell boss fight with agent smith now i'm not going to spoil what it exactly is but, I believe this game should have been what the movies were supposed to be. So, let's put this to the side here. This next one was a uh, donation that I got from uh, my friend Mr. D. He knows who he is because he watches my videos. This is a makeshift case, but this is Toy Story 2 for the PlayStation 1. Now also, um, Miss Emily, if you're watching this, you already did a throwback Thursday of this game. And I want to show it off to you, and I want to show it off to everybody watching. This is the PlayStation version of uh, Toy Story 2. I consider this rare, but also forgotten, because of the simple fact that Nobody that I know of that's old school even remembers that there was a Toy Story 2 game for the PlayStation. They do remember that there was rumors of a Toy Story 1 
for the PlayStation, but it sucks so bad. This one's actually really, really good. I enjoy it. It's difficult, but it's fun. My favorite mini boss would have to be um, in the second level when you climb the tree and you're you got to attack the Zerg kite. It is a, it is one of my favorite boss fights in the game because you know if you've watched you know the Buzz Lightyear cartoon show and things like that, you would know that Buzz Lightyear's main nemesis is Lieutenant Zerg. So, anyways. Toy Story 2. Um, I got this recently. Um, I plan on getting the console one day for this game, but I have a PC version downloaded for this game. And um, just to own this again was just plain amazing. Now, if you can't see what that is, I will show it to you from the actual legit look on the disc. Can you read that? Can you read that? That right there is Quake 3 Arena for the Sega Dreamcast. Now let me explain something to you about Quake 3 Arena. I plan on, this is a spoiler, down the road I plan on doing a very special video about this beautiful piece of art right here because I love id software i love doom i love wolfenstein you know everybody knows that i brag about it all the time however when id software got with raster productions and they made a game that has not only known characters from other games in it but made up ones as well and this is kind of like their purgatory or whatever you know when they are good enough for their games or whatnot this was made this was quake through arena not many people know but when you do the story mode for quake through arena when you get to the master tier you get to play against doom guy from doom and uh to many people's knowledge yes quake guy is in this one as well because it wouldn't be a quake game without quake guy um, but I'd say my favorite um, male character, aside from Doom Guy, would be Sarge. I always like Sarge. But female character, forgive me everyone, but I love Hunter. Just that body and everything she has. Plus, she is really good at dodging. Aside from Anarchy. Anarchy's good at dodging as well. But enough talk about it. I'll talk about that in, a, in another video. I don't want to spoil that. Okay. This is a game from a company that doesn't even exist anymore. This is Arcade America from 7th level. Now, this is a goofy game. That's the game right there, so you know I'm not messing with you. It even has the instruction manual. This is rumored to be the game that bankrupt seventh level and they quit business altogether because as much funny that this game was it was funny as hell as much funny comedic play that it was it didn't get the um the build up that it should have gotten um i enjoyed it when i played this in the past i enjoyed it and um it is very, very hard to get the real ending in this game. There's two endings in this game. But um, I will say that I do plan on playing this for my channel in the future. However, I'm going to do it in terms of just a regular playthrough. Not like collecting stuff or anything like that. If I get a, if I get good feedback from when I play this game, I'll do a gameplay where I collect everything. But this is Arcade America from Seventh Level. Last game I'm going to talk about today is something that I used to own a long time ago when I had a Windows 95 computer. And this was from a company that I still love to this day because of one specific man, Al Lowe. Now, Al Lowe is from 
the company Sierra. Proto Mario and Proto Peach, I hope you're watching this. Because <laughs> you're about to see my favorite game from Sierra. And it's a game that not many people realize even exists. It is considered my favorite point and click game, aside from Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis to, you know, all the other ones I've played. This right here is Torn's Passage. Now, Torn's Passage to me is rare, forgotten, and abandoned. Just simply because it's a game that has no sequel and doesn't even need a sequel. You're basically playing as a boy named Torin Farmhand. Yeah, Farmhand. Funny, right? And he has a friend with him named Boogle. He's a little creature that can copy certain objects that you run across. And in the future, because he copies these objects, he can help you out as well in different lands. But basically, in a nutshell, um, without spoiling any of the really big spoilers in this game, um, Torrin's parents, Mr. and Mrs. Farmhand, <laughs> I'm not kidding, their last name really is Farmhand, um, they get kidnapped by an evil sorceress named Licentia, and it's up to Torrin to go and save them. But there's something dark happening in the future. Something Torn does not even expect. And this game has a lot of really good twists and turns. Has really funny death scenes. Um, a lot of really good adventure in it too. Like you actually learn stuff in this game. But not in terms of like real life stuff you would use to this day. You actually learn stuff in this game. And just some of the story arcs, I just enjoy it. This is a game that I, when I was a kid, played ritually every month, because I loved it. And, <sighs> mm. just to own this game again, by the way, let me show you that this is the the actual game. It's the actual game right there, and I got it with the instruction manual. And look who's laying right there on that bed, man. Allo, what's up, Allo? Oh yeah. Um. But yeah, man. Um. But people are gonna be wondering, how do I, how will I play this game now? Well, how I'll do it is, I have an emulator, but it's not an emulator that you would expect, though. I have an emulator that emulates a Windows 95 computer, and I could just simply put this in my disk drive. And just play it now I want to test this out to see if I can use my MS dose on this I want to see if that's possible I'm hoping that that could be an alternative because I love Torrance Passage and one day I'm going to replay this for my channel and I'm gonna commentate while doing it I want to do it I've never been so hooked on commentating on a video but in the in the situation that is Torn's Passage I'm going to commentate in that because I want to give background stories toward it I want to explain things for you when I play this but enough rambling i'm very sorry um thank you so much for watching this episode of the gaming machine rarities if you enjoyed this please click that like button and leave a comment below let me know what rare things you own in your you know little gaming corner or whatever you have at your house or apartment or whatever but like i said thank you so much for watching and this is onyx the game machine and i'm signing out